Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got this comment on my Patreon from Mike Joe. He wants to know how to make rocks fall from the ceiling if a player is within range. Now if you look at the screen here, I've got some rocks. I've got three rocks hanging from the ceiling. I've got a player sprite here that's controlled with the W, A, S, and D keys. If I move within a certain distance of the rocks, they're all going to fall on my head. And if I and if I close that down and move the player to the other side and I'm moving the other direction, they'll still recognize they're in range and they'll fall on the player's heads. And here's how you do that. So really, really simple. All you need for this is just one event, well, two events really. So one event and a sub event. You need a for loop for each rock. You can find this in system for each and you're going to select rock as the object type. So for each of those rocks on the screen, we're then going to compare the distance. And again, you can do this through the system and then you compare two variables and the first value, you're going to compare the distance. So you're going to need to write the word distance in here and then you're going to compare the rocks X position. And then for Y, you can see at the top here, it's going to give you suggestions on what you need to write in these parentheses here. So rock X, we're not going to compare the Y, so we're just going to push zero, comma, and we're going to compare that with the player's X position, which is Sprite, and the Y position, again, we're going to set to zero, and then we're going to put a closing parentheses there. And we're going to say if the distance between the rock's X position, ignoring the Y, and the player's X position, ignoring the Y, is less than 50, and you can change that to whatever you want, depending on how close you want to get to the rocks, then if that happens, we're going to then set the rock, we're going to set the platform behavior to enabled. Oh, by the way, I added the platform behavior to each of these rocks, just so that they've got gravity, and you can change the gravity here if you want to, and I've just set them default controls disabled and disabled on the enabled. So whenever you come into the range, it's going to set them enabled, which will then trigger gravity, and then they will fall and stop on the ground. If you found the tutorial useful and you'd like to support the channel and see more tutorials just like this one, then consider becoming a member of the Patreon. For more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description. And speaking of Patreons, I'd like to give a massive thank you and a shout out to Fusel CC, Olivier Bernier, Amari Lewis, Enmark Games, Tor Hammock Alexanderson, Martin K, 8 Bit Gamer, Davey Wagnerock, John Allegreza, Dan, Focus Hero, Matt Nixon, Mike Joe, and FHD.